Welcome everybody to today's class. Today we are talking about how to schedule your social media posts so that you do not have to always be on social media to have a presence. During this 30 days course, we have learned the differences between social media platforms, where to find your target audience, what types of things you should be posting, how to create unique content that you can post that's branded to your company. And today I'm going to show you how to easily take those posts and all the things you've learned already and schedule it so that you can save time and energy, but still be a lot more productive. So what we're going, I'm going to share my screen first, and we're going to talk about a couple of different options for posting on social media. The first one is Hootsuite. So that one is spelled H-O-O-T-S-U-I-T-E.com. So we'll come here and go to Hootsuite.com. Now you guys, this is the one that is going to be the most popular one for you guys to use because it is free um there is a free version a lot of people i work with are always telling me i can't find the free version it doesn't show a free version it tells me to start my free 30-day trial but then it charges me after that i can't find a fully free one well you guys the reason why is because they hide it they hide the free option it's available i'm going to show you where to find it you have to scroll all the way down to the very 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 bottom and you need to choose where it says plans See this little button that says free? <laughs> That's the only place you can find this on this whole website. You need to click on free all the way at the very, 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 very bottom. You do not need to do a free trial. You need to sign up for the free plan, which is right here. Now, let me tell you what you get with the free plan. You are able to connect up to three of your social media profiles. So that could be Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. Um, it could be Facebook and YouTube and Instagram. You could use any three, but you can only do three of them on the free version. Also on the free version, you're limited to how um, much you can schedule. So I think you can only have 30 scheduled posts at a time. And I believe you can only schedule 30 days in advance. Um, so, so you're limited to how much you can schedule, but it's still for free. You can't, you know, can't complain about those limitations. The paid program, if I remember correctly, I haven't looked into it for a while, but I think it starts at $14.99 a month that you can get a paid version for. And of course it goes up from there. You could look and see what makes sense to you. I'm going to log into my Hootsuite account. My company has multiple Hootsuite accounts. Um, and, and we have one big one for like our clients. I'm not going to log into the, the client one for their own privacy, but, um, I think this is one of our personal client or one of our personal fuse ones. So let me log in. And this is not something I do myself. I have a team of people who do these things for me. I used to have to do these things myself for the first like 12 years of my business. And then I hire, hired a team. So I don't have to do this anymore. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> so at some point, you'll be able to hire somebody to do this for you, whether it's me or a high schooler or somebody. But for right now, you might have to do, to do it yourself. So when you first come on here, over here on the left, this is like your men menu option. If you click on the word streams, this will show you um, the different. So you can set up a stream here to where you can see um, you can see if you if you have LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter as the three profiles you're using, you can set it up to where you can see your LinkedIn notifications here, your Facebook notifications, and your Twitter notifications, so that you don't actually ever have to log into any of those three. You can schedule posts here, and you can also see notifications here. So you never have to actually physically log into them if you don't want to. So for instance, if I click on Get Started here, it will say, uh, which network do you want to add a stream for? So right now I first need to add social networks. It doesn't look like this account has any of them added. So if I add any um, of my accounts, basically all it's going to do is connect me. So if I choose to have Twitter on, I'd say connect with Twitter. It will ask for my password. See, there are still steps remaining. It's basically gonna have me log into Twitter and then it will connect my Twitter account to Hootsuite. And you do that for every account that you want to connect. Sign in. 
and then it's redirecting me back to the app. Give it just a moment. Um, oh, so see, uh, hold on. I've got to show you guys this because I'm not going to take ownership of this because one of my teammates is using it. Uh, this social network is currently used by another user. Do you wish to take ownership? So that means that one of my teammates has our Twitter profile on their Hootsuite account. I don't want to take ownership because they're actually using it, right? They're doing something with it. They're posting stuff on there. So I'm going to cancel that. Let me try a different one. So let me go to Facebook. We'll connect with Facebook. You guys shouldn't get that message because other people probably aren't managing your social platforms. Again, I've got a team that does this for me. That's why that message popped up. So the cool thing about Facebook and LinkedIn is it's not just your personal profile that you can do. In fact, your personal profile, you can't do very much anymore in Hootsuite. Um, but your all your company pages, all your groups, you could schedule to any of those things here in Hootsuite. Um, Dwight, go ahead. Yeah, it's telling me to choose what I allow to allow Hootsuite to manage ads and manage business. Uh, do I click on choose what to allow or do I just go to okay? Just okay is good because if you start editing it too much, it, it's going to have posts that you think you went out that went out, but they're going to show up as can't read. Okay. So, yeah, so just Thank be you. careful with that. Yep, you're welcome. And so, Barbara, I have a quick question. I'm sorry. Go ahead, David. If somebody goes, and I notice if you back up, so you have LinkedIn because you probably have the paid version, but you have LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram. Also, if somebody goes and they upgrade, depending on what paid version they need, does it also allow Facebook personal and Facebook business and, you know, as well as a social media you can utilize? Um, you know, there you, you used to be able to do the personal ones on Facebook. I don't know that you could do that at all in Hootsuite anymore. Like your personal account, like my Barbara Carr account, I think even with the paid version, I can't do that anymore. Um, okay. But LinkedIn, you can't. But Facebook, so Facebook business, you can, but personal, probably not. Right, exactly. So for Facebook, okay. you can for pages and groups, but not your personal profile. Okay, and thanks. And this account that we're looking at right now is a free account. I, I logged into one that I know we're specifically not using, so you guys are only seeing what's available in the free account. Um, the paid account that we have, I did not log into. That has our client information in it. Um, now this one is, as you can see, when you first log into like choosing Facebook, it's going to ask you which one of these pages or groups do you want to, um, to manage. The only ones it's going to show you here are ones that you are an admin of on Facebook. So these pages here, these are pages that I'm an admin of on Facebook. And then down lower, the groups, it, um, it's looking like Ad Hootsuite as an app. Um, so I need to have Hootsuite as an app to be able to do it in the groups, which means I just need to put it on my phone or mobile device. So we won't do that right this second, but you could choose your groups too. So I could choose this 30 day group and schedule stuff this way. But I'm going to tell you that I actually don't use Facebook in Hootsuite. I schedule stuff in Facebook directly through Facebook because it gets better engagement. Facebook will, they actually kind of, punish you for using these third party systems. It doesn't make it impossible for people to see them, but it just, if you schedule through their system, it's a lot easier. And so for instance, if I come to Facebook and I go home, let's see, let me go into a group. I'll just go to our 30 day group right here. So I, I might have showed this in a previous video, but since we're on scheduling, I just want to show you how to do it here as well. And you can do this on your Facebook pages and your Facebook groups where you can schedule right through Facebook. And that's what I recommend. Um, so if you if I scroll down, see how right here it shows I have four scheduled posts. Um, if I come up here and I want to schedule something, it's going to um, let's see if I start typing in here. So as I start typing, my options then, see this little clock down here where it says schedule post right next to the post button? That is how you can schedule a post, whether that is on your page or your group, and right through Facebook. And it doesn't cost anything to do that. Um, and with Facebook, you can schedule out to six months in advance. 
I know six months, that's such little. <laughs> in fact, I found that out because I was, I was trying to schedule out for a whole year and it stopped me at six months <laughs> because I do plan my stuff out a whole year in advance. But, um, so for Facebook, you can only schedule six months in advance, but for most of you, that should be plenty. Um, on Hootsuite, I think it's only 30 days. That may have changed. Like I said, I'm not the one who actually manages the Hootsuite account, so I don't know all of the up-to-date stuff on it because I'm not the one who does it. And so the same thing that we just did with this group, you could do on your page as well. Let's cancel this one then. Same thing with LinkedIn. If I decide I want to use LinkedIn, I choose which option I want to do, uh, whether that is, I don't think that's my right login. Let's see. Well, maybe it is. <laughs> I thought I updated my email, but I guess I did not. So again, on LinkedIn, it's saying which uh, page do you want or do you want your personal profile? So see here on LinkedIn, you could use your personal profile. On Facebook, that is not an option. So I could do either any of these company pages or my personal profile on LinkedIn. Now, the next one is a tricky one, Instagram. You Okay, Dwight, go ahead. Um, I'm doing, uh, trying to do Instagram right now and it's telling me that I have to upgrade my account to a business account in order to do something. Okay. Let's see what it says here. Um, cause I'm, I'm on it now. So continuous views. Requesting to do I'll authorize. Let's see. Is it saying you need to upgrade Hootsuite to business or I'll see Instagram. This Instagram. Okay. Yeah. You, you want to, um, so that's free to do and you should have it set up as a business, even if you're not, um, using it as your business name, because that gives you analytics. So, so I do recommend upgrading Instagram to a business account. Okay. And then on, so the tricky thing about Instagram is that Instagram does not allow third party systems like this to easily post to them. So what happens with Instagram is if you schedule something to go out on Instagram, let's say Monday at 12 PM, you're going to get a message on your phone Monday at like 1155. This says you have a post scheduled to go to Instagram, click here to make that happen. So then you have to um, actually click on it and hit post and then hit confirm. And you've got to press a couple buttons to make that actually happen it you can schedule it but it will come to your phone to just have you press those buttons to do it so it's only semi-automated on instagram and that's no matter which platform you use instagram doesn't allow uh that to be any easier yet okay and then um youtube same thing you just connect it with youtube and then you could post things to your youtube channel i prefer to do youtube straight through youtube because you can also schedule posts on youtube so i don't use youtube and hootsuite and i also don't recommend that you do so um you could connect your youtube though to make it easy for you to find videos from your youtube to share on instagram or or linkedin or facebook or any of those so that might be one reason you would add this but if you've got a free account i don't recommend using it to just link your channel because you could always just go to your channel and find the link that you need so i don't recommend using youtube for hootsuite um and then pinterest so on Pinterest, you can schedule things too, but I actually prefer to just write through Pinterest, post things how I want. Um, because again, on Pinterest, you don't have to worry about if you post 15 things in a row. It's okay to do that on Pinterest. So I just like to do it all at one time right on Pinterest. So Hootsuite, my recommendation for Hootsuite is to use um, LinkedIn and Twitter on Hootsuite. Those are the two that I would recommend you use. Now, if you happen to have a company page on LinkedIn, you can actually do your LinkedIn personal profile, your LinkedIn company page, and then your Twitter profile. That gives you your three free ones. Okay, so then you're saying, Barbara, well, where do we do the rest? I already told you Facebook, YouTube, and Pinterest do right on their sites. Um, for Instagram, the site I recommend is called Later. L-A-T-E-R.com. This is the best platform for scheduling your Instagram post. Actually, if you look right here, it even says number one marketing platform for Instagram. So, um, and it works the same way as Hootsuite. You set up a free account. Um, there is free accounts. See, like this one says free forever, set up in minutes, no credit card required. Um, works the same way as Instagram. 
I'm sorry, as a Hootsuite where you just schedule and I'm going to show you how to put posts in and schedule them in just a moment. But before I do that, I want to show you two more. Um, the next one is called Recur Post. R-E-C-U-R-P-O-S-T dot com. What's really cool about this one is that it allows you to like, um, when Tracy showed in her Trello board about how she has all these Monday posts, what you could do is you could put 15 Monday posts in here and have them alternate. So like every 15 weeks, they would start over again. And people aren't going to realize that that's something you posted 15 weeks ago. Right, and so so you could put them in and say on Monday, things out of my Monday folder should go out every Monday and they should alternate. And so that's what's really cool about this. There is a free option here as well. Um, and I can't remember what you get. You get three social accounts on there. Um, I like to use this for Facebook, um, LinkedIn, and Twitter. So if you're using the three free accounts, Connect it with Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter because these are three things that you can, anything that you want to recur, like a post that, that you create today that can also be used six months from now or any other time from now, put those ones in recur posts. And Hootsuite and later use those for the posts that like are time sensitive and, and won't be able to be reused. And then the last option I wanna show you before we jump into how to do things, Meet Edgar was always my favorite one, but I will tell you they don't have a free option. They do have a free trial, but they don't have a free option. Um, and it's $50 a month for it, but you get, I, if I remember correctly, I think you get 50, at least 50 accounts you could connect to this. So, and you could also, and Meet Edgar is a combination of Hootsuite and Recur Post together to where you could have some posts recur over and over again and you could have other ones that you just post one time and they're done okay so meet edgar has always been my very favorite one of all time but because it's a 50 dollars a month price tag i know it does not fit into every budget for everybody who i help so just something to keep in mind when i show you how to post things i'm going to show you through hootsuite so for Hootsuite, let's see, let me come here. Because what I'll show you on Hootsuite is going to be very similar no matter where you, on any of these other things that you do. Um, let me use one that I know that nobody's doing. Okay, so my business partners won't be using the Rise one, so we'll use Rise. Rise is a different business that I own with other partners, and um, we're not maximizing social media yet in that business. So I know nobody's using that one in Hootsuite. So give it just a moment and say next. My company updates and dashboard. Okay, so what that did now is now it's letting me see any updates from the company. Uh, so if I had any notifications on LinkedIn, they would show up right here for this company. But what I really want to do is I want to come here to publisher. This is where you're going to publish things and see what things are published. So let me move this over here. So for instance, once I schedule something, it will show up here. And I could also click a certain place to schedule something there. So I clicked on the 23rd at 4 p.m. I could say a new post or a new pin. Obviously a new pin would go to Pinterest. A new post I could put on whatever platforms allow posts, which would be um, LinkedIn, obviously. So if I click on that, I can start typing what I want here. Over on the right, it gives me a look of what it is. If I post a link, um, there's a link. So we were, um, right before this call, I was, we were doing stuff with my Amazon wish list. It's something that Tim is going to be teaching about on Friday, um, but we are messing around with it. So that was the link I had as my most recent copied link. And so as you can see, just like if you posted it on LinkedIn itself, it shows it an, an image along with the link. So this is like a preview. And I could also add um, images if I want. So I could click on open media library and I could download images or use ones I already have. I could shorten the link. If this was really long, it would be useful to shorten it, especially if I was posting this on Twitter because you don't want a really long on twi link on Twitter. Um, you could add tracking. I, I don't, I don't know if you could do this with the, um, oh, you can do that. You could track it with, uh, even with the free one, it looks like. I didn't know that was a po possibility. 
But as I keep scrolling down, here's where another place I can add media. Down here, this is where I could choose to promote it. So this would be an ad, right? I would need to pay for this. So I'm not going to do that one, but that's an option. And then I could also target it to, that, to a specific audience. I, right here at the bottom is where I could choose when to schedule it. Even though I chose the time before I started doing this, I could change my mind, pick a different date or a different time. Up here at the top, see where it says auto schedule? What auto schedule means is that if it will go out to um, at the people that you're, that you're connected with, it's going to go out when it is best for your audience. And it's looking like doesn't look like I can, yeah, I need to upgrade to the paid plan for that. You used to be able to do that in the free plan, but it doesn't look like you can anymore. But basically, so uh, there used to be, um, people used to say things like, this is the best time to post on Facebook or Twitter. Nowadays, there is not a specific best time because everybody's audiences are different. And so for instance, all of my friends might be night owls and all of your friends might be morning people. So if I post my stuff in the morning, they're probably not going to see it because they're just going to sleep by then. So if that makes sense, everybody's audiences are different. It doesn't mean everybody on my list is going to be a night owl. I'm just saying as an example, a good majority, it takes what, when your people are online and engaging the most and it pushes it out at that time and so you don't even need to know what time that is it does it automatically and then i could hit schedule here or if i click on the arrow i could schedule and reuse it um i could save it as a draft i could schedule and duplicate it um i could do a few different things with it now i'm not going to post this because obviously this doesn't say or, or mean anything if I had more than one profile, like let's say if I had my uh, Facebook profile here too, I could choose to put that in. I could put, um, it won't let me do the Pinterest one because that one has to be a specific pin, but you could put this on more than one platform at a time if you have more than one connected. Um, it looks like I have a question in the chat. I, um, I can't see where the chat is right now, you guys. Whoever asked, if there was a question, please unmute yourself and just ask it. It was just a comment that for my um, commercial clients, early morning is best, and for my residential, evening is best. So that's a good point for you to know. So then if you're posting things, commercial stuff, you probably want to post that in the morning, right? If you're posting residential types of posts, you probably want to post that at night. So if you specifically know your audience pretty well already, then it's okay for you to choose what times. But if you're not sure what your audience is like, then, it's, then it might be good for you to do the auto schedule. But again, you would need to upgrade your plan to do so. All right, so I'm going to get out of here and I'm going to discard this because again, I don't want to post that. It was very random and was not good. Another way that you could post is up here at the top. You could click on new post and then it will pop up again the same way. So either click on new post or um, click on one of the times that you want it to go out. If you click on the arrow here, you can open it in the legacy composer, which this is the one that John and Phyllis, I think you learned this one as well, um, where it's it's more um, simple text. It's not a big long like form that you're filling out. It's just you choose your network, you write your stuff, add a link if you want, put an image, schedule it, um, any of those things. And then if you if you choose a date to schedule it on, then you choose schedule. Right? Oh, I've got to have message there. But it would change to schedule instead of post. Um, okay, instead of send now. Okay, there's another question here. Have to go, okay, thank you, Phyllis. So that is how you post. And then of course, after I have created posts, it will show me on this calendar when they're going out. If I click here to content, this is a way that you can kind of have stuff um, as a draft that you're not ready to fully post yet. Maybe as you're coming up with ideas, you could post them here before you decide when to schedule them. Um, here you can see your scheduled, past scheduled, things that require approval. If you're working with a team, you could have things require approval, um, expired approvals, rejected. Um, again, that's all stuff if you're working with a team. If you come over here to promote, this is where you can do ads. So the only things that will show up here are platforms that allow you to post ads. Um, so Facebook and LinkedIn will both show up here. 
Um, I don't think you can do ads through Instagram or Pinterest on here, even though you can technically do ads on those. I think you have to use those through their own platform. So then the next thing down is the analytics. So this will show you, and again, it's not going to show much because I don't have anything in here right now, but when, when you get on here, it will show you different posts. It looks like for analytics, you do need the upgraded plan. But if you choose to do the upgraded plan, it will show you how, let's say post, uh, post one, how it compared to post two, how many viewers you got and stuff like that. Now, to be quite honest with you, you guys can see those analytics in each platform itself, but this is a real easy place to see them all at once, rather than going from Facebook to LinkedIn and all of that. And then the next one is assignments, which again, this is a team thing. It's an upgraded one. App directory is to be able to allow things to integrate with your Hootsuite. But again, this will be an upgraded option as well. And then all these things and tools are also things that you can add to the program, of course, at a cost for most of those. And so the last thing that I want to show you is, oops, let me go here. And then up here in the top right, this is your profile. Now, people don't technically see your profile unless there's people on your team, which it needs an upgraded plan for. But you can put, like, you could put a picture of yourself here if you want. You could change your account settings to your name and all that stuff. Here is where you can manage your social, social networks. The, like where you add move this down here at the bottom this is where you would add your um okay am i still sharing yeah it looks like it so this is where you would add your networks so see how i have the rise company here and then pinterest here i could add more here but remember if i get more than oh that was the one that said one of my teammates had it already if i get to three and then i try to add another one it will say you need to upgrade to add another social network okay so that's where and so see all this stuff i could change if i wanted to but nobody sees that unless you're on a team with people and you're sharing and collaborating with others which most of you who are on this call will never need to do that so you don't really need to spend the time to do that if you don't want to Billing and plan changes is obviously where you can uh, go to set up your paid accounts and where you pay them out of. And then the last option is sometimes um, you need to reconnect your account. Like Facebook, I think, has like a, every 30 or 60 days, it wants you to reconnect it. And if you change your password or your username, you'll have to reconnect it. So the best way to do that is to just click up here and go to reconnect social accounts. And it will show you if there's any that need reconnected. On mine at the time, there are not. So I know that was a whole bunch of fun stuff. But does anyone have questions on the differences between these platforms? Forms, where you should use them, what platform should be used where, or how to post, or anything really. You guys have questions on anything? I apologize. I'm going to have to watch the video again later because I've been busy trying to create it and do it, and I I'm still far behind what you're talking about right now. It's not even funny. Oh no. Worries. So Barbara, I have a question. What? So you said that. Um, at the point, you know, once you, you know, get a handle on it, you, and I just wanted to recap. So with the Hootsuite, um, which is the free version, you get up to three platforms. You mentioned the platforms. I'm looking at my notes here, but with the, um, uh, the LinkedIn, uh, professional, personal and professional and the Twitter, you utilize the, uh, the Hootsuite and then the Facebook personal, um, and business and the YouTube and the Pinterest, you utilize that and go directly through them. Now, my question is, is with the Hootsuite, you said that you used uh, somebody on your team. Now you delegated. Do you also at a point, you know, we start thinking, uh, do you also delegate the other where the Facebook uh, post personal and professional, the YouTube and the Pinterest, do you also delegate that as well? Yeah, so um, again, because, pretty much all of them. Yeah, so so you can delegate it small parts at a time, um, depending on how you set things up. And um, so you can start where just one person helps you with LinkedIn, for instance, if maybe you're not ready to do LinkedIn, um, or somebody can help you right off the bat on all of them.
Um, our company has different options. If, like if you hire us for social media, we have options where we start off small with you all the way to where we manage your social media 100% for you. So, so you, you've got different options even there, but, um, but there are some things I still schedule myself. So like in this 30 days, all of the scheduled posts I did personally myself, I've been running the 30 day program fully 100% as Barbara. Um, so like nobody on the fuse team has helped run this program, but while I'm running this program, they're running other parts of the and so, um, so yeah, you just got to know what to schedule, who to delegate to, and whatever makes sense for you. There's not really a, a you know, again, there's not a one size fits all. Everybody's situation is different, and you've got to decide what's going to be best for you. Right. And I know when you did the 100 point uh, evaluation, the online presence analysis, we talked, you know, I do the insurance of financial services and we talked about myself, you know, the three, the LinkedIn, the Facebook and the, um, the Twitter or YouTube, but that's why it's important. Like I said, for somebody to do that, because it might be overwhelming, like the white says, man, I'm all over the board, but you're okay. We're going to take steps here. These are probably the three. And then you kind of get acclimated on what you want to do when you post it, what your content is. And then if at a point they say, okay, now I feel comfortable to direct somebody, whether it's fuse or otherwise to, to, uh, uh, you know, guide them on what to do. So is that kind of, you know, the proper, am I seeing this properly? You are. And like David, if you don't mind, if we use you as an example for it. Sure. When you and I talked, right, and you share, I shared with you on that, uh, your, your 100 point checklist of places that you should be focused and places that you really shouldn't focus right now. And you shared with me what you were hoping to get out of social media. And I was able to share with you that, okay, here's how we can help you. And when I, when I shared with you, Dave, the plan that would be best for you, I chose the smallest plan that we offer for you because that's all you need. Our right. most popular plan is our middle plan. We have three plans. Our middle plan is our most popular plan, but for you, you only need the small plan. So there's no way I would talk you into doing the middle plan because you don't need that. It's more, it's more than what you need in the future. You might need it, but right now you just need the small plan. And so if you're not sure what you need, um, you could reach out to me. I'd be happy to give you advice. Even if you're not hiring us, I, I could kind of, obviously, if, you do, if you're doing the 100 point analysis, I'll be telling you that information during that call as well. So if you haven't booked that, the price is still at $50. It goes up to 99, I believe on May 1st. So again, if you haven't booked it, make sure you book it. And I'll be telling you those things where you should focus your time so that you know if you hire and delegate it out, what you should be delegating so you don't think you have to do all of it. Yeah, and this is good because of the fact, like you said, it, starting with the three key and then as your company grows proportionally, and as your social media online presence grows, then you can say, okay, I want to step it up from three to five or six. And then once you're getting return on investment or growth, then you can proportionally, uh, you know, draw more into it and you're feeling more comfortable. So it's basically ABC. But like you said, with the 100 point plan, I hope everyone did it. You got to, you know, you, you don't know where you're going unless you have a game plan or should I say a roadmap. So that's what I was impressed about it in terms of giving me a guidance because now, like before I was like, you know, I'm all over the board. Where do I start? I'm like that dog that's chasing his tail, but now it's kind of, okay, I know where to go, you know, block A, block B, block C, you know, so it, it gives me a sense of direction and vision of where to go with it. So. Yeah, and thank you for sharing that, David. I want to make a couple quick announcements here based on kind of everything that's happening. Um, as far as the analysis goes, I told you guys right now the current rate's 50. I've had a couple of people who don't feel like they're ready for me to fully look at their stuff because they're like, you're not going to find anything anyway. But I kind of would like to see what the kind of things are that you're at, what you're looking for, so that when I do build it, I build it properly. Um, so I've been selling the blank template for $20. So if you're like, listen, I don't really want Barbara to look over my stuff. I'm terrified of what she's going to say about it or whatever. <laughs> uh, just reach out to me and I'll send you the link to buy the $20 blank one. So you at least know what you should be focused on. It doesn't give you a conversation with me, but it at least gives you the template. And then the second thing is we have been getting an overload on the website 
Um, in fact, I got two brand new signups even just today. So I'm going to start capping the websites at only five per month because again, I'm the one doing all of them still right now. And I, there's only one of them today, but <laughs> until I learn how to clone, um, nobody else on my team can build websites as fast as I can. They're still in learning mode. So I'm like pushing them out and cranking them out. So I'm going to cap it at five per month. So if you ever go on there and try to buy it and it shows it not available, it's because I've capped out at five already and you'll have to wait till next month to try again. But this price will only be good until Corona's done. So probably May is the last month of it anyway, hopefully, cross our fingers. <laughs> so if you're interested in a website, I only have room for maybe one, two at the most for the rest of this month. So if that's something you're thinking about, you need to do it right away. Otherwise, you'll have to wait until probably mid-May. All right, any other questions, comments, or concerns? Dwight, you're muted, Dwight. Uh, based on what you just said, in the future, I, I, I would like to have you build a website, um, but I'm, I'm just nowhere near uh, that place in my journey yet. Um, but my question is, uh, right now I've got, I've got the uh, Hootsuite up, and I'm trying to get to uh, linking my Instagram, and it's telling me I have to be an administrator. So I discovered a page that I started on my Facebook a long time ago called united on purpose and mostly it only has pastors in this group right now and it's a private group but i can't uh i am an administrator but it doesn't show up on the same page i'm, I'm rambling uh my point is that um the only thing that hootsuite is giving me access to and now i can't even find it because my computer's lagging is my done right by dwight page on facebook i can't find my instagram I can't find the, it's walking me through how to do settings and to click on Instagram. And, but it says I have to be an administrator on a business account with Instagram. And I can't even find that on my Facebook page because honestly, I am a technological Neanderthal. I can't even believe I'm on a Zoom meeting with y'all right now. Oh, no worries. So, um, so Instagram and Facebook should be two separate things. It sounded like you just mixed those together a little bit. They so told me I had to go through Facebook the Hootsuite directed me to Facebook to change my business setting on my Instagram because Instagram is owned by Facebook. Right. So, but what I would recommend you do is go straight to Instagram and upgrade it to a business account. You could do that in your settings. After you've done that, go back into Hootsuite, refresh it and try again. It's okay. easy to do it right through Instagram in the settings to upgrade it to a business account. Okay, thank you. Yep, you are welcome. Uh, any other questions, comments, or concerns? Okay, who is excited about um, scheduling posts? A couple of people? <laughs> okay, so there's a contest today, you guys. Who's excited about contests? <laughs> All right, so you guys are going to create your free account on Hootsuite, Later, Recur, Post, that makes sense to you. Again, there's not really a, this is what everyone should do. I gave you what I do and what, you know, you may do the same thing, but you might decide that you prefer Meet Edgar where you could do it all at once. So choose whichever account is best for you, set it up, um, schedule some posts, and the contest is whoever schedules the most posts, by 1 p actually by 12 tomorrow because i need to have time to count it you guys i get too overwhelmed when stuff comes in at 1 p.m and we start at 1 30 uh, for the networking so let's cut it off at noon tomorrow so at by noon i need an update from everybody and i'll i'll put a reminder out at about 11 30 that says hey i need your counts um and by noon whoever has the most posts scheduled gets a prize so you want to schedule and you guys, the great thing about my contest is not only do you have an opportunity to win a prize and also have fun with competition, but by doing this, you're moving your business to a new level, you guys. So, so take these contests seriously, even though they're fun, try to schedule as many as you can do your business a favor. Okie dokie. All right, you guys.
off to the race as you go. I'll see you tomorrow at 1.30 for networking and questions. We'll start at 2. In tomorrow's class, I'll be teaching you how to live stream your videos on multiple platforms. So that's going to be super fun. See you tomorrow. Have a great day.